What's up, everybody? John Hammond here, continuing on the Natus videos um, from the Over the Wire War Games. So we just got the password for Natus Level 2, um, and we have been storing these in these Python scripts that we've been creating, um, and that way that each individual file or script that we end up creating will print out the flag or the password for the level that we need to move into uh, next. So we've got these for Level 0, Level 1, etc. And let's go ahead and actually run these to make sure they're doing what they want to, what we want them to do. So Python natus 0.py, it prints that out. Same with uh, natus 1.py. Uh, we've got the password and everything just moving swell for us. We can make all these executable so we don't have to use that Python preference, etc. Um, and that looks good for us. Okay, cool. So let's move into actually natus 2 right now because I think that is only just getting, yeah, the, the, web page content here for us. Let's actually go view that in the web browser so we can see what we're looking with. Um, I've got it pulled up right here. Again, if you needed to get to the page, you can authenticate by pasting in the password uh, that our scripts are now getting for us. And uh, it says here there's nothing on the page. There is nothing on the page. It's exactly right in that regard. <laughs> um, no interesting HTML source code or HTML comments that we've seen like in the previous levels, but if you look closely, we do notice a image file, image source file, pixel.png. If we examine that just in our browser, it's a one by one pixel that doesn't seem to really do anything for us. But take note that this is currently located in a files folder here. Um, you can see that kind of relative path in the HTML link here, or the href, the, the path that it's trying to reach from the image source. I'm going to use um, Sublime Text to set the syntax to HTML right here. And let's kind of see what we can see in that directory. Can we, can we reach that? Uh, in the web browser, I'm going to check out files, forward slash files, and we do get to read the index of files here. Um, Interesting stuff. There's pixel.png and there's users.txt, which might be peculiar. Let's go ahead and see if we can reach this in our code. Let's get to files, run it with control B, and we are getting the same index of files here. It looks kind of messy uh, in this, so let's make this better. We can um, install a package for Sublime Text. Um, I'm thinking of HTML tidy, and that will beautify, tidy, and clean, prettify the HTML code that we're looking at in Sublime Text. Once that is installed, we should be able to just Control Shift P and run HTML tidy, tidy HTML, and suddenly it will clean up all of this for us. So we can view this table a little bit more cleanly and actually read through this page in Sublime Text. So here again, you'll see we've got the pixel that's noted in here, and we've got the users.txt file. Um, we can see the link to it, just relative to where we are, users.txt. So let's check out that file. Again, just changing the link in our script, users.txt. Control B to run this, and looks like we've got some interesting stuff. Uh, username and password, kind of syntax or semantics here, and we see Natus3 listed in there, and the password clear as day. So Cool, let's scrape this out. Let's use, um, looks like we can just say natus colon, natus3 colon, and then what we want to scrape out, we can, we don't need to print the content anymore. We can just print out what we scrape and there's the password for us. Awesome. So that is now a complete natus2 script. Let's put the password into a natus3 script, change the username, etc print out the content so we can see where we're at. Run this again. Okay, we're getting a 404 not found because it thinks we're still looking at files.users.txt. Let's make sure to change that location. And let's just keep looking in Sublime Text what this, uh, what this level looks like. So HTML source code again, I'm looking at the web page. Now we're on that as three. Content is there's nothing on this page. And there is an HTML comment here. No more information leaks. Not even Google will find it this time. Ah, okay. So this is a nod uh, and a hint towards like internet web crawlers. So that's robots.txt files. Um, 
like Google has to index and crawl through the web page to have um, all those search engine results. Um, web robots are programs that traverse the web automatically. So search engines such as Google use them to index the web content, etc., etc. You may have seen me um, refer to some of these in other capture the flag challenges. It's a pretty common low hanging fruit. Um, Something you, a, a rock you've got to check under if you're doing some website reconnaissance and stuff like that to see what might be hidden from the um, robots.txt file. So it's just in the web root of uh, the, the website that you're looking at. So we can just tack on robots.txt here. And the website, if you learn a little bit more about it, this is the syntax you'll typically see. And we'll see it just now once we run this, once we run this code. Cool, so we made a connection. Here's the response we're getting. User agent, anything, disallow this secret directory. Hmm. If you want to see this in your web browser, again, make sure you're at Natus3. Natus3, paste it in. Robots.txt. And this is just how it looks. Plain text file, completely nothing. And that's what we're working with. So let's get check out that secret in LeetSpeak directory. Um, Pass this in. Looks like we've got an index page again. Let's run HTML tidy so we can check out what is in this directory listing that we've got here. Uh, a blank icon. Another another icon. Oh, hey, another users.txt file relative to the secret path. So let's go ahead and download that. Users.txt, run this file. And we've got Natus 4, just like that. All right, cool. So let's put that in our regular expression finder, and we've got the password for the next level. Save this as our completed Natus 3 script, create it as a new one for Natus 4, paste in the correct password, and we are ready to move on. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. Um, that's all I want to cover in this video. I think the HTML tidy... Uh, script or that that plugin for Sublime Text is pretty awesome. It's definitely coming handy for us as we're doing some ninja stuff in Sublime Text and just cruising through Natus, the web security war game from over the wire. Um, we'll jump in the next one in the next video, but I hope you're pretty content with what we've got so far of these little weaponized scripts that from the command line, we can just straight up run, hey, Python Natus 3, get the password. Same for Python Natus 4. And... Uh, Let's see, we did two in, in the previous one, so four is what we got to complete. But we're just cruising along. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying these. Uh, please maybe leave a like, comment, subscribe. I don't know. Do your, do your good YouTube stuff. See you in the next video.